Yeah, my project for this weekend is working on my old Atlas drill press here. The arrangement now, the way it was made is uh, the RPM is just too high for what I normally use it for when I do use it, which isn't very often at all. It's at about it's over 600 RPM now, which is just too fast for me. So what I'm going to do is add an intermediate pulley, intermediate step pulley right here. Just got to make a bracket for it and uh, buy a pulley and a couple more belts once I get it in and we'll put it on and try it. That'll decrease my RPM to somewhere where I want it. As long as it's less than what it is, I'm going to get about, I'm going to get down to about 300, 400 RPM. That should be good. We'll get to it. This is going to be the bracket for the intermediate step pulley. That's an old bearing housing that I s slit down the back here, drilled and tapped it, and that's just the right size to clamp on the post of the drill press. So it'll slide over, clamp on there, Drilled a hole in the top with a shoulder bolt and the pulley. Here's the step pulley I got. To save room, it's a little smaller than the other ones that are on there. This is a, I don't remember, it's a three and a half, I think, inch. Since it's going to be an idler, I just bought some uh, five eighths by half inch centered bronze bushings. Press those in. proper length uh, shoulder bolt. That'll drop down through the pulley. I've got some little grease inside there, that's what you see right now. And then that'll mount right to the threaded hole I have on the bracket. Screw it in. I like this clamp bracket idea because I'm not changing the uh, original design of the drill press at all. I'm trying to keep it as original as possible. Not have to do any cutting or welding to the press. In this case, I won't have to do anything. It just clamps. So clamp right on. snug this bracket up so I can tap it around and adjust the, the height for the belt. Uh, this will work out really nice. This bracket. I could just slide it and swing it right around to, to tension the belt up. Put it wherever I want it. Now if this would be a, a drill press that I use really often, I would put a, uh, I would put use ball bearings in the center of this, but it's not necessary in my case. I'm just using these these bronze bushings. And it should last me just fine. I should get a number of years out of it. And worst case scenario, if they go out, I'll just knock them out and put new ones in. They're only a buck fifty each, so. These will do just fine. Now, we'll put on the uh, motor belt to intermediate pulley. Pop that right on. And this, 
I just slide the slide the motor out and it has thumb screws here that tighten that up. You get that set. Everything's tightened up. Sounds good. Well, let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Sounds good. Oh yeah, the speeds. Speeds much more usable for me. It should be down to around 330 RPM now. Down from six, a little over 600 RPM. So that's much better for me. That's all there is to it. Got about 30 bucks in this project. That's it. Not to mess with the drive or anything fancy. That's all he needs another uh, pulley to change your speeds. Moment of truth here, I gotta try it out. Half inch bit, quarter inch steel. Much better. There you have it.